It's not going to interfere and change things. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I am sure. This is much leaner than beef. Trust me. Okay, let's have a look. Well, there is some fat in it, but he, he got some stuff in it. But okay, let's add a little bit. Why don't you try it without the butter uh, first okay. and see if it <laughs> makes some grease? If it doesn't, then we'll add margarine. All right. Okay. okay. All right. I take it you're getting hungry. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I could eat any time. Sure. What do you want me to say? Well, say something. Say something intelligent. I have a much larger sled than Scott. <laughs> I just want that to be on the record. Is that true? Well, that is true. How can I counter that? I have a box on the back of my Bravo, and you don't. Have we're not talking. We're talking sleds that. here, not Bravos. Well, if you well want to talk Bravos, the Bravos are the same. Mine's older by quite a few years, and it's in my. I don't know what year. What year is yours? Well, I don't know about that. That's up for debate. Okay. <laughs> okay, just a medium heat, a medium to low heat, and let it. Out and yes, my Bravo has two tanks, whereas yours yours only well, has one. Mine has a nice compartment where you can haul all sorts of things, oil. I I have I have a wood, big wooden box to haul all those things. Yeah, it's better I, to have the extra I gas. I can build one of those. I'm a licensed carpenter. I could easily build one much nicer. Well, that. you're a licensed carpenter, and I don't see a box on the back of yours. I see one on the back of mine right now. That's all yes. right. I'll, Just I'll, saying. You wait till next year. I'm all gonna right. have the nicest box. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't wait to see what Costa's gonna come out with a sled for next year because I'm gonna get the water. <laughs> a bigger one. A bigger one. <laughs> okay, we've got I'll that. I'll track the trailer in here, Rich. <laughs> now we're gonna build a chili here. We're a moose burger chili. Well, this is Brody's moose burgers, right? Yep. Brody, have you added um, fat to this? Brody? There is a little bit of suet in it, yes. Okay. Well, there you there go. You go. All right. so okay, you go. so you're all right. All right. See? You hear that? Because it is leaner than the ground. Exactly. Yeah, for now, chili, though. For chili? Seriously. What matter? He knows more than any of us. So. And I know more than you. <laughs> Actually, I'm the chili master around here. With beef, not with moose meat. You don't. I never seen you cook moose meat in your life. Or since I know you, anyway. Well, tonight I'm supervising, so I get to say. <laughs> All right. Just uh, lots of salt and pepper. All right. And I mean lots. Actually, I I'll add it myself. Time. No. <laughs> I want to add that. Too many cooks. <laughs> Too many cooks. Well, you call salt and pepper, it's probably oh, pepper yeah. flakes. Now we gotta do this right. There's salt and there's pepper. And I'm not kidding about this. This does add flavor. Put it in right first thing. And it this may scare you. No, I like lots of pepper. Yeah, it does like, help. That is kind of more no. I like pepper. All right. Don't more more. Now a little bit. Now, now, not as much salt, but some. Now, are you noticing anything right now? Well, there's not as much grease there for some reason. You just let it, let it go there. See what happens. We'll just, we'll just burn it on to the pot first. Look, it may not burn at all. Just see if it, if it doesn't produce any grease, then put some margarine in it. Okay. Don't get hasty. <laughs> I'm pretty particular when it comes to my chili. Right? And if it's going to be endorsed by me, yeah. done by you, I want it done right. 
works well under maximum supervision. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what they always said about me on my work performance yep. thing. Well, I always took it as a compliment. Yeah, works well for <laughs> maximum supervision. Perfect. When you're, not, you when you're not being supervised, makes good fiddles and shoots good bow and arrow. Yep. <laughs> Just think if we'd videoed all that stuff we did in the past. Well, every morning, show up and have our archery shoot. That Maybe again at lunchtime, have another one or something yeah, for a while. Fun. That was fun. <laughs> we enjoyed that. Made me get up. I was like, we can't wait to get to work. So oh, I can yeah. Oh, yeah. go Great. in that nursery shoot. Great enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> so I, after you left, that's when things changed for me. It was like, it was, uh, it was a little bit less fun for me going into the lab. And that's when I was really, well, what else is out there? Before that, I never even looked at what was available. Yeah, that's the way it goes. I would recommend probably. Tomato base, you mean tomato soup? Yeah. We heard like if you put the tomatoes in first, they get a lot more liquid. It'll give you time to put the tomato paste in. What's the dude saying? Think like a technician now. Yeah. Technologist. Think like a technologist. We need a opener. opener. So, no, yeah, not a technician. Don't say that. No, no. We're technologists. Fire more advanced technicians. How did this work? <laughs> I have no way. I think, no, that's not the... It, it, it sits up like oh, this. Oh, like that. Horizontal. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's fancy. Okay. That's good. That'll take a while to come up to a boil. In the meantime, you can... Prepare the other cans. The two tomato cans and then your chili mix. Oh, God. This is all coming together now. Yeah. It's all coming together. I think I'm in my element teaching. Mentor. I'm a mentor. You're mental, all right. <laughs> well, it's not called for. That's my son over there being disrespectful to his father. Nice shot. Okay, you can add the tomato soup. Any time? And if you want, you can add maybe half a can of water. Depends on how thick you want your chili. Right. I can turn it up a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think so. And a spoon. Now you've got another can of soup, remember. Yeah, I'm just we're maximizing the soup kind in it. Okay. I may make a separate video with this, uh, the cooking show, the Fiddlehead Tech cooking playlist. show. A new playlist. Featuring Scott King. Yeah. Technologist. Showing the tricks to the old technology. You're not showing me tricks. I already knew how to do that. Emphasis <laughs> on old. <laughs> you can't teach an old technologist new tricks. Actually, this technologist, I can't even spell it. <laughs> Technologist. Okay, there's. Okay, stir that up good. Okay, have you put in the chili mix yet? No, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you need to do that now. Should have done that before the beans, but it right. won't matter. Just stir it good once you put the chili mix in, and then we'll add the peppers. This is looking fantastic. Dump that in. Okay, and stir that good and make sure it gets mixed in good. In case anyone's wondering, I'm mentoring my young prodigy here. Because okay. someone's got to take over once I'm gone. Okay. Now, yeah, this is where I got a hook. This is a new variation, but it's necessary. This is where I got a use for this. Refrain you a little bit. Yep. Now, Peter, why don't you box the camera? All don't right. want too much in. All right? Well, it's been documented. It won't be too much. Just 
You're going to put the right amount in. So, it's the right consistency too, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, I shouldn't nice. add any water yet. No, no. Let it simmer. Well, I can So, you, you cover it on minimum heat, let it set and simmer. Check and see what? Oh, you're worried about the gain. You know, your masculinity does not depend on you watching hockey. Wow. Here we are, the chili. Just simmering away. Pretty much ready, but the longer it cooks, the longer it simmers, the better it tastes. We're gonna let it set. There's all the boys over there. Where the fisher fights, that's what he was after, was rabbit. And the rabbit went down the road back in the woods, and we stood there for a little longer, and then all of a sudden the fisher come back out on the road again. You said he was tracking the rabbit. Yeah, and the rabbit was scared because I thought we're watching the fisher and it went back in the woods. And the next thing you know, the rabbit. Oh, it's a Logan. Temperature's a little hot, but the spice is already very good. Like temperature-wise, it's hot. It's a thing of beauty. Oh yeah, he taught me well. <laughs> nice to have some chips with it. Uh, not your chips. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. They told me. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best thing. things I ever learned about me. It's a thing. Of there's many, many good things you've learned from me. <laughs> you think that's one of the better ones? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. That's all I've known all my life. <laughs> yeah, you grew up with it. I didn't. I didn't even like you like that. You didn't even like chili? No. Nope. Really? Never never really grew up with it. First time I tried it, I hated it. What, you mean my chili or somebody else's? Someone else. Oh, okay. And the next time I had chili, it was with the Army ration packs. I didn't like that. And then the first time I really liked chili was... Yeah, my chili. Well, I guess I had to put on My chili. <laughs> and after all, I got used to it. <laughs> <laughs>